What's up everybody? Once again, my name is Brand Man Sean and today we're going to end with one more how to get a record deal, how to get signed with the perspective of an a and and I think there'll be something very interesting you'll see at the end. So we're going to do two a and perspectives. First, I want to do Steve Robolsky. He's been involved in careers like LL Cool J, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Kings of Leon. He's been at Def Jam and Columbia Records. Very story career, and he has four things that he takes notice in. Number one, he loves people that tell a story. And this goes back to so many things I've said in countless videos. Oftentimes when artists are telling stories, they're giving their unique perspective. And when you give your unique perspective, it puts people in your world and it allows people to buy into you easier. Number two, Steve Robolsky has a big thing for signature voices. So when you think about some of those voices that you just don't hear anywhere else, think about like a Macy Gray, he had that raspy as voice or even when you think about it hip-hop a signature voice that the Migos created was really their cadence their sound future has a signature voice they have that very unique way of delivering and pre presenting so if you aren't a singer and you don't have some kind of natural signature voice but you're a rapper you can create a sound through your delivery that cuts through the noise because it helps you differentiate yourself from all the other sounds that so many other rappers are doing these days. Number three, that X Factor. Everybody's pretty familiar with the X Factor. There's a whole show on it, but I'm not gonna go deep into that because X Factor is supposedly that thing, that thing that maybe someone was born with their exuding confidence. The best thing I can say is really just exude confidence and you probably give that chance of an X Factor. Why those people stand out oftentimes is just because most people actually don't have confidence, whether they're successful or not, a true internal confidence. And when you can build that yourself, people notice they can feel it because it's just so rare. Someone who's just comfortable with themselves. It exudes this natural aura. Last but not least, number four, perform live in a unique way. Steve Robolsky says you have to be able to perform live in a unique way. That will capture his attention. And I'm going to stop there for a second and go on to the next a &R. Pete Gambarg. He's EVP and head of a &R at Atlantic Records. And this guy's been involved in careers like Run DMC, Kelly Clarkson, a lot of other big people, obviously. And he has one thing really that's very important that he takes note of. Develop a strong live show. There was a group that he was responsible for called Hellstrom. They were like a rock, soft rock type group. But when he first saw them, their performance was so strong that he even said it didn't really matter how long it took for their album to come out. Because once they see a group that's actually able to interact with people or just an artist that's able to interact with people and excite people in a unique way, they know that once they get the ball rolling, it's already a wrap. That's the strongest thing that you can do for yourself to give yourself a good advantage and chance of being signed, particularly if you don't have some kind of huge fan base already. But if you could get seen by an a and you have a strong live performance that could really excite the crowd. Notice, Steve Robolsky said this, Pete Garnbark has said this, the uh, Riggs Morales in part two said this, the biggest thing is a strong live show. It's the common thing that you're hearing from so many of them because if they're discovering a talent, they at least have to have something that they can rely on. So get as many reps as possible. Perform your ass off. There was a dude at Adventure Time ATL, my festival last week and his performance, just him alone, I had never seen him perform live before. Off that live performance, I knew that that this dude, if I run him through a system, he's a star. So I get it. And as a side note, in a bonus, Pete Garnbark has also said that no matter what, a great song can cut through. There's almost no denying a great song. And that's pretty much a wrap for this How to Get Signed series. Have a great one. Hit that subscribe button.